What's up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This time we're going to be looking at something a little bit more modern. Uh, so the PMK2, as cool looking as the mask it is, it just doesn't hold up by today's standards anymore. Uh, the fogging issues, the straps, it, it's just not there. So, like I said, here's something new. This is the GP21. So if you've never seen this mask before, you're probably thinking it looks familiar. And it kind of does. It looks like the MCU-2 or the MSA Millennium, but this mask just has a nice Russian flair to it. Like the PMK-2, it has a very similar looking voice diaphragm, uh, exhale port, and left and right filter ports, depending on if you're a left or right-handed shooter. But that's where the similarities end on this guy. Uh, it has a nose cup, which reduces fogging tremendously. Um, it could still be prevalent if you're a hot or sweaty person, but that's going to happen on a full seal system, no matter who the shooter is. Um, on the back, we have a six point retention system, which is much more comfortable. The straps are a lot softer, easy to adjust, but I have heard that they're prone to breakage. So I think it's something that you set it on your face one time and you just pull it back over on and off with the straps set to how they are and you'll be all right. There's a few different variations to it. Some come with a drinking system, some come with different filters. This one uses 40 millimeter Gauss filters. Um, and speaking of filters, this mass filter is made in 2020, so there's no issues with asbestos like you'll hear from GP5 filters and potentially GP7 filters. Some of you guys are telling me that the GP7 filters don't contain asbestos, but I mean, those are so old anyway, I wouldn't want to be breathing through them. So <laughs> if you can find yourself a more up-to-date filter, I would highly suggest it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, just like the PMK2, let's try this one on and see how it is. And here it is. So one thing I didn't go over in the overview is the panoramic lens on this thing. Uh, first though, uh, always pull the plug on your filter, or you'll suffocate, and that'll suck. So, anyway, <laughs> the, the lens on this thing, it's pretty much infinite. You can't see the edge of it at all. Um, it's really clear, and pretty much no complaints. I've heard that uh, this lens is actually clearer than a lot of the Western lenses too, so, I mean, that's definitely a plus. There's pretty much zero fogging on this because of the nose cup as I was talking about. And the straps themselves are actually really comfortable. Um, really not too many bad things to say about this. <laughs> this is going to be kind of a, a boring review, I guess. Um, as I said, this thing uses 40 millimeter uh, Gauss filters. Um, yeah, there really isn't too much more to say. Um, it'd be interesting to have the drinking tube just to see if how it fits on here, but yeah, this thing's pretty sweet. I can definitely see why um, Special Forces uh, still use this today, uh, as opposed to some of the older masks. I'd still like to see a uh, PMK-4 at some point, just to compare it, because I know that's what actually won the, uh, the, the trials, because this mask was actually, um, was actually made to compete against that mask. And uh, yeah, it ended up not winning. But a lot of operators still use this mask anyway because they can use whatever they want. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the review. I guess we'll go to conclusions. So just to sum it up real quick, I think this is an amazing gas mask. While it's not really fair to uh, compare it to the PMK2, it's still interesting to see where and how far it's come since then. Um, I'm interested to hear if the voice diaphragm sounds any different from the PMK2, but I mean it looks similar so it's probably the same, about the same. Um, it's also cool to see that this mask is still in use by different FSB operators out there, and I also know it's pretty widespread in civilian use. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, 
If you like this video, like and subscribe. And I also got a little giveaway going on. The guys over at Rushby hooked me up with some of these patches to give out to anyone who's really interested in this sort of thing. So if you're interested, just leave a comment below and you'll be entered to win. This will be going on for every video now, so just leave a comment. Uh, but until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.